Hello. Hey, any cats? Good morning. How is everyone? I got some apple pie for breakfast. Mm. gonna do day three of Final Fantasy 11 online A game I've recently jumped back into and I'm really enjoying all right let's just get some final things situated here done. Yep. You are good to go. Alright. Um, as for me, I still have a couple things I need to do. Um, Discord? Or, not Discord. OBS. Alright, turn that off. That's good. Transition. Hello. Alright. So, let's. Hey, what up? Uh, split. How are you? Welcome, welcome. All right, let's uh, get back into our character. Good morning to you. Ah, retail. Mm-hmm. Are you a uh, are you a private server kind of guy? <laughs> Give up after 17 years. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're actually just, uh, we're just coming back. We haven't played for a very long time. I think over, honestly, I, yeah, over 10 years, I think. I see, the last time I played, I think, was about 2008 or 2009. Maybe? So, yeah, we're pushing 11 years since we played, so... We're, uh, we're learning the game again. We're having a lot of fun. We got three main accounts. You got one chance left. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, that's actually the reason why I don't even use a Windower. I know a, a lot of people have said, like, yeah, Square Enix doesn't care if you use a Windower, it's fine, just don't do anything that's going to alter or give you an advantage over anybody. And I'm just like, nah, dude, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, I got my apple pie breakfast going. You know, those are words, but I think I'm new enough that I don't know what they mean. <laughs> So let's see here. We were we were leveling up our sub job, thief for our dancer. Um, we just got the thirty five, I think, before we locked off last night. I was getting super tired again. Um, so LM eleven is temp. That will turn into a permanent. Oh, I see. Oh, they're codes. I got. I got gotcha. you. They're Square Enix codes for the band hammer. I see, I see. About six months ago? Hmm. What'd you do? If you don't mind me asking. Get our temps. Out. Our, not our temps, our trust. When you're multi boxing, I'm scared to run a window with a. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, that's the that's the whole reason I don't even use a window on <laughs> at all. 
Um, just like I don't, I don't want to get banned, especially if I'm streaming and I'm just like you know out there. A lot of people have been like, nah, it's fine. They don't care. I'm just like, they might care. <laughs> All they have to do is start caring. <laughs> LUA is a new way to script and code the game for gear swapping. Oh. Mm. Mm. Why would that give you an advantage that would ban you? Is it just because it's not their way of doing it? Because it's auto. Oh, I see. Okay, so you don't have to put in any commands. It does that on its own. I see, I see. Yep. Yep. No, no, no. I want, I want your... Oh, all right. We'll use Metsui. He's pretty cool. So you've been playing a lot on private servers then? Oh, they can be upset with me saying it. Like, I don't do it, so. <laughs> they wanna be mad at me for saying something like that, then. I'll go right ahead and fuck off. You don't like private? Mm hmm Well, it's good that you still have, you know, some way of playing. You still have one account. Uh, we're gonna go with the... Torture first. Have you seen what new content? I had a patch today I had to download. I don't know what it was. I didn't look into it. Just before stream, it downloaded like 10 or so files. Yeah, 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 the 20th anniversary, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. That's part of the reason why I came back. Level up. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Oh. I'm a little pimp here. <laughs> Was that an NM? Oh, it is. Enchilados. Is that guy gonna kill me at level 35? Let me look at it. Let me look him up. Um, oh, not XXFIB. God damn it, Google. Plimp. <laughs> Plimp. Plimpia and Plimpy. Yeah, you got a theme going. Nice. <laughs> got 3200 ex uh, life. They dropped some cool bracers though. Hmm. Maybe if I can get him to come out here without anybody else seeing me. What? <laughs> Run! <laughs> oh wait, I have a ranged weapon. I could have just ranged him. Could have just. Oops. We're gonna kill these bats first. You're on a sure? I'm on Carbuncle. Oh, yeah. 
we got this. I think we got this. Um, leave. Just a little. Uh oh. No, 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 don't hit him. Yeah, a lot of people are on. A lot of American or a lot of English speaking people are on. I'm sure. I chose not to be on the very popular server because uh, I wanted to play solo ish. No, there's there's darks in the dark. Over on the table. It started a long time ago too. I think my first time I played was in 2004. Oh, did we get it? Did we get the item? We got a necklace. Nope, we didn't get the uh, the bracelet. Which is the big item off of him. Give seven strength. That's that's crazy. That'd be really good for her. I did. Yep. Yeah. I packed you some too. Mm-hmm. A shield? Well, might as well. Nice. Splint, you playing right now? What uh, what what classes do you favor? I personally like sport classes, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna main a dancer because they can do a little bit of everything. You know, they're 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 mediocre tanks. They're they're mediocre damage dealers, and you know they're pretty good support. So from what I read, anyway. So. I don't think I'm going to be getting any, like, crazy in-game gear either. Like, the stuff that takes, you know, months, if not a year to get. That costs the same amount of money. More just in it to, uh, to get the story and stuff and be caught up by the time 20... 20th anniversary rolls around. Getting in dangerous areas here. Demonic doll, IT plus. No, I'm gonna pass on that. be ending just as you're getting home. No, it didn't look like it did. Pretty sure we can take this guy on too. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> he already used his his ultimate. That's funny. Uh oh, that would have been wet socks. The worst kind of socks. He had breakfast and he wasn't uh, super angry, so. We're three levels away from being able to do And we we can almost jump into Garlage Citadel. I think maybe after we get 38, we'll go over there. Yeah, a little more level. Mugged him for 60 gold. Nice. Oh shit. Run off in here. Bye, baby. Mwah. You hit the light on your way out. Thank you. for all the wikis I need up. One for the game, and one for the stream stuff. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a lot of guys on me. Yeah, we should be alright. That Geomancer hot is crazy good. They're all decent challenges and stuff. Eagle eye shot. Hope he doesn't do that on me. Or Tenzin right now. He he did do it on Tenzin. Thank you. 
Does it cost more than a hundred for me to uh, waltz? It does. So if Dancer is your sub job, it costs two hundred. Okay. So everything's more expensive when Dancer is your sub job. What's this? Cures most status ailments. Nah, I'm good. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and teleport, warp out to our home point, and make our way over to Guard Age Citadel. Let's refresh our signet. If we still have our thing available to us, read about individual training. I think we want book two. Yes, we do. Bring it out. All right. Um, I think we're gonna go with a tank on this one because I don't have a whole lot of healing utility at this level. We're gonna go with a tank there. Sylvie. Um, and then Tenzin and Sam. Semi la fina. Let's 
Sylvie's helmet always looks like just a bunch of like wax that melted over her head. <laughs> I suppose I can get in there. But also, Samba going that way. It's huge. I think at 40 he gets his flash move. <laughs> Party with a comrade from the Unity. Nope. Multiple enemies. Uh, defeat number of enemies in fantasy areas. Okay. Vanquish Aquans, Amorphs, and Beasts. Synthesis. Mining. Vanquish with my Unity leader. Okay. Not really fighting aquins, amorphs, or beasts right now. Fighting technically birds, because the bats and vermin.
Skirt around this guy. level though and things will really pick up. Oh there it is. Nice. Now we can do a wield. 
Nice. That's exciting. And we got some extra stuff in here. We got our flourishes. We animated if we wanted to. We got um oh, maybe that's it. Steps. Oh we got quick step. Steal that from my Answer, quick step. For 611. Nice. Maybe I turned on the 500 damage. healing to do. Turn that on. Total damage taken. For a second one, we'll turn that on. Still got two more weapon skills to do. And we, we don't have that yet. Again, you can do it almost. There we go, and force him through.
him and not me. She's up on the rail. <laughs> Two? Oh, when did I hit 41? <laughs> Probably get away with doing it now, but we'll wait. Oh. 
that bag so fast. Chain himself? He did. That's so cool. <laughs> We're just gonna get Thief up another six levels and then that's that's it for Thief. There's really not a whole lot to do than just sit back here and sneak attack. kind of gameplay that I enjoy, but it is supposedly a really good sub job. So. Warrior would be also another one that I would pick.
like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, wait, I want to, I want to. <laughs> okay, we, we got credit for the casket. <laughs> nice. I think I can put on my other daggers now. I think there were 43. 46. tank on this one? Yeah, I think I should. I think I should have a tank just always a thief. Not very... I'm gonna stay with a tank. Well, no, because he's just gonna cast magic on... Okay, yeah. They're gonna... Yeah, we're not gonna go with a tank. she does. I know she has mana and stuff, but I just wanna, I just wanna see. like any magic on him. Any, you know, worthwhile magic. We're gonna get rid of her. We're gonna try... Maybe just use one.
got her. Nice. She's far enough away. my re-raise earring just in case. <laughs> Six. Put on my new weapons. The bone knives. Nice. Yeah. That was a lot better damage.
levels here. So. Go do our our limit break, our first limit break. The fifty to fifty five one. Let me actually pull that up. Sneak and invisible taken care of for a to walk through. So we need bomb coral, we need exo ray mold, and ancient papyrus.
Oh, I just have to run around and pick them up. I don't have to kill anything for them. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that'll be, that won't be too bad. Then. I think the necropolis one will probably be the worst. Because he got stone skin off. Put on our belt. I didn't realize I leveled.
Did I defeat multiple enemies? Three things ago. Yeah. Nice, 5,000. Wow. I wonder if we got the 40. Skipped almost a whole level just doing that. the last one. Lunar, thank you so much for the uh, for the follow. Finishing up our, uh, leveling up our sub job thief. Um, then we're gonna go do our limit break, our first one. 55 limit break. So we gotta go through. 
places and do that whole quest. We're gonna do it as dancer though. That'll be easy. I'm just getting a little bit of buffer experience points, so if I de level for some reason as thief. Or if I die as thief, I don't know. see here. Um, this will be our last one. Oh, he's already aggroed onto me. Okay. <laughs> uh, this might not be our last one. <laughs> that one might be our last one. Depends on if he aggroed or not. I imagine he would. go switch back to Dancer and start our Limit Break quests. We'll go up to Rulu Gardens and talk to Matt. Let me pull up my guide here for it. Okay, speak with Matt uh, on a 50 job. Okay, so... I like these shirts. I see a lot of them. They have that one's the, the Shadow Lord. I saw one with like a Marlboro. Those look pretty neat. I wonder how they get them. Um, let's see. And I love her little her little crown. It's perfect. Um, okay, so Juno. Up to Rulu Gardens.
Stardew Valley running. Well. Traveled all the way here at uh, your bidding, Krupo. Even a renter room needs a Moogle. But there are a few things you can't do in renter rooms. Select Mog House from the main menu to check. Alright, that's good taken care of. We are. I don't look any different, but <laughs> yeah, we definitely are. All right, uh, switch over to our dancer macros. Check our abilities. We got contra dance. It just think makes our waltzes better. Okay. I think is in the back. Mott. Duffman. Oh yeah. Well, well, you've come quite far, but you've still got a long way to go. Do you know about the uh, people here? Well, don't take this personal, but to them, you're just a tiny bug. And I'm the one who trains them. Yeah, you can even call me a teacher. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you, I'm sure you have ambitions of your own, right? If you want to break the barriers within you, you'll have to pass my test. What do you say? once. Very good. Gather these. A piece of ancient papyrus, a clump of exo ray mold, and a chunk of bomb coral. Uh, coil. Uh, well, get to it. Alright. So I think we're gonna visit a map person first, and make sure we have Crawler's Nest, Eldime Necropolis, and... Well, we have Garlage Citadel. Right there. Well, we need to make sure we have Crawler's Nest and a Necropolis. So we're going to travel over to Backstock. 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 <laughs> we'll go to the markets and the... Uh, that one. So we have garlic citadel, yeah, I know that. Are they 
part of like Bastok? Uh from Marshlands Bastok, no. Did I just pass it? Oh, there it is. I, I, yeah, I passed it. Okay, so we got Eldar and Necropolis. We need the Crawler's Nest. There it is. Alright. Uh, and I'm, I'm good. I don't... I'll buy them as I come. I don't want to spend all my money at once. Alright. So, we are going to... Uh, let's see, so all three question mark pieces we obtain on map 2 in Garlage Citadel at each 6 station. Avoid falling in any holes in the floor on the way there. Use a pouch of weighted stones to get past the banishing gates. I think I need to do a quest to be able to get that. Obtain at G8 map 1 south of where you first enter. Click the question mark on your... Oh, okay, so I just get it on my way there. Okay, cool. In that case, yes. We'll travel out there. Um, we are gonna go to Bastok Mines. Mm -hmm. I could use tabs now. I got 361 of them. Okay. So we're going to pull out our friends while we do this, cause I, just in case. And we're going to grab her. Grab... Tenzin. Um, I'm gonna grab Matsui. Yeah. Okay, so G8 match one. Find that. Markers. G8 map one. Just south, where you enter, click the question mark. If he attacks me, I'll kill him. But if he okay. So he just cast burn on him. What?
Now I'm confused. Watch your way to stone. At GA. Maybe there's another question mark somewhere? Maybe in one of those rooms? Weighted stones. Happy about that. Make sure that one's up too before I use it. Okay, so I'm going towards map two and I need to go to G6, H7, and I8. Actually, I'm going to go out here real fast and fix my marker. on me? They could be. Okay. Going to recall the guys because they're going to be lost forever. Oh, I'm going to have to log out and do it. <laughs> so just a quick relog to get the trusts to go away. They're too far. They're stuck on the uh, the holes. Friends back, um, Sylvie.
So I need to go to G6, H7, and I8. Let me look these up here real fast. So the first one is the G6. G is that one, six. So first one is up here somewhere. Map two of Garlic Citadel. Let's let me make sure that I get that this is actually map two. Map one. Map nope. Wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, that is map two. Right? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so First one is going to be right here. Bomb um, coal. The next one is going to be. Third one is going to be right over here, apparently. Okay. Head on over there. Fallen soldier. Be sneaky about it. Wait, can I go this way? I gotta go the other way, right? Oh, I can't. Skewer Sam. <laughs> what does he drop? Yeah, that sounds like an in and name. Let me look up to see what he drops. Skewer Sam. Oh, he drops some cockatrice skin and a wind spear. Approximately every 21 to 24 hours. What's the wind spear? Oh, additional damage wind. 49, 59 damage. Pretty cool. It's a rare weapon. And also a skin. Up to three. I could probably take him out. He's only got 9,000 health. He's aggressive towards level 99 characters. Maybe we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, no. Nope. Gotta be getting close now, right? Yeah, I'm getting close. First one. Oh, 
I remember being down here as a Beastmaster. Trying to get these freaking bombs to blow up on themselves so I can get XP. There's the other one. ugly dudes up here, right? And the fitted flesh. Alright. As long as I don't go near anybody that's got... That guy's gotta be sound. Which means we got the chunk of bomb coil. Coal. Not coil. Coal. Chunk of bomb coal. So what I'm also going to do is... Go this way. Also going to attempt to make it out. Which I think I just go this way. Then I take the next north? Or do I just keep going this way? Maybe I just keep going this way. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's leave me outside. I'm pretty sure I can grab the book out here. Hello, how going after the job level? Uh, hello, are you going after the job level cup? Yeah, absolutely. Yep, yeah, tech boy. Just started, actually. Um, this is, that bomb uh, coal was the first one that we had collected. We're going to be getting the, uh, probably the crawler's nest one next, because the Eldar Necropolis is, it's always been a little sketchy for me. But I think we'll, yeah. And there's a book up here, right? The book is up here, I'm pretty sure. Abilities, mounts, raptor. Is there like a, like an H&M that pops up here too? A big vulture guy? Probably farmed, but oh, there it is. You haven't played in forever. It's a great game. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm I'm having a lot of fun. I haven't played in forever either. It's actually it's probably been about ten, maybe a little bit longer, years since I've played. Um, since I've seriously played. I, I come back every once in a while for like, you know, a day or two and I'm just like, all right, I'm going to play. And then for whatever reason, I stop playing. <laughs> but uh, I'm really looking forward to the stuff that's coming out next March. Not this one, the 20th anniversary. And um, yeah, it's uh, so I wanted to make sure I had a character ready and prepared for whatever they the big reveal is going to be. I want to I want to be a part of it. So. So, yeah. Um, so I want to go over to the Crawler's Nest, which I think is Norvalin? No, that's the Necropolis. Okay. Nope, not that one. Okay. 
Uh, they haven't. I don't. I so I haven't. No, I don't think they've said what what they're going to be doing. Uh, I haven't heard uh, even any hints about like what they're going to be. Uh, yeah, what's what's going to happen? I know. I know that they're even right now. They're still upgrading story. Like there's a bunch of smaller story elements that they're adding right now and stuff uh, for like in game characters and stuff. So. Um, yeah, even now there's there's new stuff to do. The game is still getting updated and stuff. And it's not just like the end of life updates. Um, it's actual like new story and stuff. Small, I think. Small. But all the same. Okay, so I need to go... So we're just going to go... Um... No, not that one. Norman, and then we'll just go to Batali Downs, and we'll just we'll just travel. We'll just get on our mount and travel over towards Rollenberry Fields. Because Rollenberry Fields is connected to the swamp, and we didn't go through the swamp. We went through uh, Jugner Forest. Yeah, so we wouldn't have that anyways. Okay. It's awesome as you get support. Yeah, there's a there's a super dedicated fan base to this game, and uh, I can definitely see myself becoming one of those people. I still I still love it. Uh, personally, I'm a very like I'm a very single player uh, video game person. I like I don't really like multiplayer games. I don't like the complication of having somebody else come in and either they're really better than I, and uh, it kind of makes me feel inferior or they're, you know, not very good, and so I'm kind of like wasting my time playing with them. Um, so I like, I like, you know, if I don't do well in a video game, it's because, you know, me. Or if I do well in a video game, it's because of me. And so I like that you can play this game completely solo. There, there might be like one or two things you can't do, but I, it's that's like super high end stuff that I don't ever see myself getting to. Which is a uh, reason I keep coming back to it. And it's because you can play it by yourself. It's nice, you know, every once in a while to like team up with people and and do something cool, but for the most part, nah. Were you thinking of coming back at all and playing? Because uh, if you're if you're looking to play, um, there's there's some really good servers that have a lot of people on them, uh, and definitely could give you a recommendation on which ones those are. You know what? I'm going the wrong way. I need to go down. <laughs> down this way over here. Whoops. I guess I could just do the Eldar Necropolis. I'm right here. Okay, yeah, you know, we'll just we'll just do the Necropolis part. Um that's the ancient papyrus. So zone in Eldar Necropolis at I slash J ten. So where's that? I slash J is on this line. 10 is down here. Okay, so we want to go somewhere in here is where we're looking to go. Yeah, that's a that's huge when they moved away from the party based. Uh, you would love to come back. I, you should. Like, if you got time for it and everything, um, I would definitely recommend it to people. The game is pretty different from the level 75 days. But it still has its charm and it and elements from those times that uh, just give you that nostalgia feeling, while also being, you know, Final Fantasy XI, two, essentially. Oh, it's an airship! That's the first time I've seen an airship since I started playing. Uh, since I came back, <laughs> I love that you can just see him flying overhead. It's so cool.
Alright, so we're getting close to the entrance that we want to be at. I like putting markers on my maps, so you'll see me do that a lot. Uh, so this, I think, this hill right here is the one that I want to get into. Um, right? The I slash J10. I think that's what this is. No, <laughs> this is not. <laughs> uh, it's further down. Okay, right? Yeah, okay, no, it's it's down here. I was looking at the wrong one. I want to go down here. Like this, this particular thing right here, like where I can just jump on a mount wherever I want, is so great. It's It's super good. I love it. So it's such a good addition to the game. Like, there's a balance between making the game easier and uh, just getting rid of, uh, you know, annoyances. And I think I think this is I think this is one of the good ones. All right, so we're gonna put a marker right here. <laughs> Marker. Boop. Yeah, just entrance. In here, uh, on map one, there are three question marks are located at F7, F9, and H9 on map one. So we are on map one? Uh, this is the crawler's nest, Eldam Necropolis. So I just bought the map, so we have it perfect. Um, okay, so, uh, let's see here, located on map one, run in and make a left where the road forks past the ghost and follow the hallway. When the road forks at the hellhounds, if the path to the left is open uh, and you see liches around the brazier flame, then proceed that way and get the question mark. Uh, if there is a weight, if there is a wall to your left and the path is blocked, uh, make a right or go north into the large room, square cave looking thing. Okay. So first and foremost, I need to run in and make a left where the road forks, which is right here. So I need to go down this way. And then I think here's talking about right here. If, yeah, I need to go north if I can grab the item. If not, I need to go this way. Okay. So I got a survival guide here. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So because these are all undead, I'm gonna grab my pallet and trust in case I get in any bat fights. They can, they can be scared of him. <laughs> uh, we will only get the, the Geo. Her heels. I like her heels. And then we'll get uh, Tenzin and then Simi. We'll be arranged. Okay. We are going to sneak. as I love fighting, I don't get any experience points for it right now, because I am capped. 
Okay, so at the first fork in the road, make a left. Okay. Which is this? Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when the road forks at the Hellhounds, the path left. Okay. Maybe we'll get lucky. We don't have to do the long roundabout way. Oh. Oh. I think we're good. When the road forks at the Hellhounds, if the path to the left is open and you see liches, I think it was open. Yeah. Okay, so they're tough. When I click this, does it summon something? Proceed, you waited for it in the left room. So is this gonna summon a bad guy when I click this? That's what I don't remember. I hope not, because this is gonna be pretty bad if it does. <laughs> I might end up with my first death. We could clear them out, they're only toughs. You know what? We're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna clear these guys out. I got a range weapon, just in case like something pops. Cause I don't remember if it does or not. I don't think they link. I don't think these guys link. So we'll go with this fallen knight here first. Ouch. Alright, so the paladin will tank for me. And I will heal for the paladin. Bad I'm not a monk, right? Samba. Faster attacks in here. I'm going to heal everyone. Can I get that off of him? Or do I have to do it? I'm probably gonna have to get that off of him. You have your own little NPC party? Yeah! Yeah, so um, the NPCs that are in the game, um, you can make clones of them, of some of them. Um, so like, like these guys specifically, you uh, if you've played before, you might recognize Tenzin or Sima, or uh, Simi, and um, so they're called trusts. Um, and let's see, right here, um, and you can summon them depending on their icon. Will will determine, you know, it'll it'll tell you what they are. So like uh, Vala here is a tank, Halver, Naji, Tenzin, and Matsui are all melee damage dealers. Um, uh, Yohaim and uh, Sylvie are both uh, support players. You can see Kupipi and uh, Millie here are both healers. And then uh, Adelheid, Adelheid is a uh, caster. And then Simi is a ranged person. And so, uh, trust sound familiar? Oh, good. Yeah. So, yeah, you can you make your own little NPC party. And they're they're pretty darn smart. They're like, like Square Enix has done a very good job of... Uh, of making sure that they that they do what they're supposed to do. Can I line of sight these guys? Like, I don't know if that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. I think I just have to outrange them. Because the last thing I need is that guy casting tornado on me. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you. 
<laughs> I I so hope I'm far enough away. That or he's just gonna one shot me. Okay, no, no, no. I'm I am far enough away. Okay. And so, uh, the first time you melee attack them, they they engage. Like my paladin there, my tank. Uh, he he busted out provoke. He put flash on. Like he's they're very smart. Um, I'm not really using a healer healer. Sylvie is more of like a very passive healer. She's a geomancer. Um, she's a very good region, like just passive AoE region around her, which is why I'm using her. And then Tenzin is a samurai, so he gets TP very quick. And Simi is a ranger, so she gets TP very quick. And they're, they're really good at uh, skill chaining off of each other, which is why I like using them. And I'm a dancer, so I have a lot of utility and stuff. I can do some good... I can do okay damage. I can do... He got his ice spikes off. I can do okay healing. I can do some good debuffs on him and, and stuff. It's a very good solo job. And they're smart too, so like if all of our health is really low, the healers will try and heal me first before they heal uh, anyone else. An ancient piece of papyrus on a lich. Is that what we need? No, that's not what we need, is it? Piece of ancient papyrus. And we need... Oh, they drop off of liches. Or can be received from... Uh, the papyrus shreds. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that is what I need. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, they have a... What's the percent chance of these dropping? Oh, they don't say. Ah, oh, that's fine. Might even make a new character. That's what I did. Yeah. I had a... I had a... I had a... You know, an okay character on, uh... On Bismarck. It was super old, and I don't remember, like... Anything I was doing, yada yada. Don't, don't cast. Just stun him. Uh, so I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna start over, and it'll be great for stream, and and I'll get to learn all the story again and stuff. So yeah, I'm happy that I did it that way. Building flourish. Enhance the potency of your next weapon skill requires at least one finishing move. Oh, cool. Maybe I should put that in my macro. Answer. We'll do that on... Oh, shoot. Did we get another one? No, we didn't get another one, but... We should be able to grab one from here, right? Where is it? There it is. Ancient Papyrus Shred. Wait, no, we got the item we need. We don't need to do the shreds. We we actually got the item we needed, right? Let me let me look. I think we actually got what we what's there? I'm on uh Carbuncle. It's populated with very little English-speaking people. <laughs> There's a lot of Japanese people on this server. If you're looking for a, like a very high-populated English server, I would recommend um, Ashura. So we got our bomb coil. I'm gonna drop these things. And we got our ancient papyrus? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, so we don't need to go in through the rest of it. We got we got what we needed. Okay. Angel, yeah, sweet. Okay, that's awesome. I didn't I didn't read the part where it actually drops off of liches. That's cool. Okay, so we're done here. All right. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna heal all of us real fast, and then I'm gonna snelf snelf. I'm gonna snelf. I'm gonna stealth out to uh, outside. 
And then we can just, uh, we can run over to Roland Berry Fields. Yeah, we've had a lot of people uh, participating in the chat the last few days since I started playing this. And uh, I'll let you... I think all of them. I, I actually think all of them are on Ashura. I don't know if any of them weren't. <laughs> I am I am not where I want to be right now. Am I locked in here? No. What? How did I get over here? What the hell? Oh, I went the wrong way. Lol. <laughs> okay. Let's take that off too. Uh, do I have flea? I do have flea. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Okay, so we're gonna throw flea up. We're gonna get this. And then we're gonna go fast. Like sanding. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I had just started running the wrong way. That's all. Oh, and, and okay, so each thing has a chance to drop off peep off off of mobs, and also, or you can go collect the three items and then get the thing that you want. Okay, so we're probably just gonna go kill exo rays in the crawler's nest because we could have just killed explosions and got the bomb coil. Uh, bomb coal. Why do I keep saying coil? That would have worked. I wonder what the drop rate though. Like if it's a really okay, I'm gonna look on the wiki, and if it's a really low drop rate, probably just gonna go for the mold clumps or mold crumbs. Yeah, the X-ray mold crumbs. But if it's not, it's not a super low drop rate. If it's at least ten percent, we'll just kill him. Why don't you just kill him? Okay, so uh, let me look these up. X O rays F F S I. X ray mold is almost a ten percent drop rate. They're level fifty one to fifty four. We really, when I was like 48, 49, I should have just came out here and farmed these things instead of fighting in Esha. Oh well, you live, you live, you learn, right? Um, so, abilities, mounts, get on my raptor mount. Map. And then we're gonna go down towards the Lord, Lord Bolverseer Bridge. And for me, coming back to the game, uh, Tech Boy, for me, I had a really potato of a computer when I played this uh, in the past. And so being able to come back and have things like, you know, just the weather effects turned on is very nice. <laughs> like when I go out into the dunes and they have like that sandstorm that rushes through, um, it doesn't it doesn't slow down the frame rate at all. Or during the opening scene of Chains of Promathia when Bahamut comes out of the spoiler alert when Bahamut comes out of the water and he's like and there's like the big splash and stuff I would get like you know on my old computer when I played it the first time I'd get one frame every like minute <laughs> and so being able to actually like watch the cutscenes or enjoy the world as it was meant to play be played is is very enjoyable to me When I first played it, I couldn't even have shadows on. The the draw distance was super close, so I couldn't see things, you know. 
except if it was five feet in front of me. <laughs> and there's a bunch of stuff that'll be new to me as we as we play through here. Um, like all of the wings of the goddess quest lines and stuff, I have I have no idea what goes on in that. Uh, Raspides of Vanadil, which is what everyone tells me that I need to focus on. I have no idea what goes on in that. Um, we've done a little bit of that. We have to... Uh, actually, I don't remember what we have to do for the next part of that. But I think we're locked behind something right now. Some story mode. <laughs> We have to, uh, we have to do other missions from other expansions before we can continue ROV, I think. I'm not 100% sure, let me check. A land after time. Uh, beyond the vortex, a strange world unfurls, and it looks unlike Zeta. The place may be what it, it's called in Esha. Follow the crystals call to Hala Dim or May. Oh, okay, no. It's just gonna start taking us into Promathia stuff. Oh right, we didn't have our sub job leveled or anything like that. Um Okay, yeah, no, I remember why we had continued. We will definitely be continuing after I get these this done. The crawler's nest is down here, right? I think so. I think that's where it is. For me, playing on low pop population servers like this is, uh, I never had it like a big, I never had a lot of luck getting like notorious monsters or, you know, rare drops and stuff from them. And uh, I've had a few of them that I've seen and been able to kill. And I got things like the, the bounding boots, which are, you know, the leaping boots from Leaping Lizzie. Um, and so like, like you out level this stuff really fast. And in, 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 in the way the game is played now, but it's just nice to be like, haha, I finally got it <laughs> after 18 years. <laughs> mm. And so that's one of the reasons why I picked a lower population server. So I didn't have a problem with like camps or, or quests and stuff, and for the most part, free to do whatever I want. I don't think I've even run into a... Per outside of town, I don't think I've really run into a person. No, they're... they're like, especially the slow-level area stuff. I'm sure I will when I get to higher-level stuff, but... Not yet. Okay. Trusts. So these things are level 51 to 54, which means I can tank them. So I'm gonna call out Sylvie... Tenzin Yochim Yochim and Simi 
Check our map. See if there's a book. There is a book right up here. Yoink. Got it. I don't think the worker crawlers aggroed. No. Okay. I think the X arrays are. Down, down. Like pretty darn far down into the nest. I think I remember where I need to go for him. Oh, do the death jackets aggro? Well, at least not those ones. Sneak. Just cuz. Just to stay safe. Alright, from here, I'm gonna go down this one. Flies are like are toughs. But either the big AoE curse sphere thing damage. Well, that shouldn't be a big problem. I'm a dancer, I can heal up. And Sylvie's got a lot of AoE heals, so. Oh, but you can't pass up Esha when leveling. That's too good. Alright, so. Um, I think just a little bit further down, and when, if I'm remembering right, we should be able to see them. Oh, we hear someone. Oh yeah, there's a, look, this guy's leveling off of x -rays. I'm not going to, like, interrupt him. I'm going to go a little further in. He's level 60. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> I'm going to go a little further in and take out some of them here. Oh. Oh, maybe we are too far. Best bow. Okay. Yeah, no, I guess... Well, okay. <laughs> it's just my luck that I would run into a player, right? Weird that he's fighting x -rays. That's 60. Well, there's more X arrays other ways, so we'll go we'll go somewhere else. I'm not gonna interrupt him. Actually I'm gonna steal this one. Lizards were like an aggro. So we're gonna go 
Hey, Drake. <laughs> Drake. So we're going to go down this one over here and see if we can find some more exo rays over there. I, d I really don't want to interrupt that paladin's whatever the hell that level 60 paladin is doing. Uh, just my own selfish reasons of leveling up. Um, so yeah, we're going to go down that way. Gill farming. Really? Is he really? Off of exo rays? What do they drop that uh, is so useful? Maybe. Oh. No idea. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Could be hunting an enemy. Oh, true. True. Could be. Yeah. True. Yeah, we got our. We went out and we got the uh, the papyrus from the Eldime Necropolis Drake, and we got the uh, the bomb coal from the uh, from Garlage Citadel. Okay, so I think I think there's some extra rays in these bigger rooms. So we'll 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 head over there and we'll see if we can find some. You know what? I might be able to just widescreen it from here. Aha! Yes, perfect. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five just down this way wonderful just be careful go too far and you'll get the high level stuff yeah we we went we went down super far and we did see some super high level stuff and i was just like oh no 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 <laughs> yeah but i think we're safe here i think we're i think we'll be all right here so i know the soldier crawlers will aggro me on uh yeah, if I get too close to them, because they're in their audio, I think. Oh, no! Uh, so we're going to have to find... I guess we're going to have to go up this way. Come around. Sound and link. Oof. Yeah. We'll have to be careful. Let's see, what are they ranking? DC? Oh, that, that's not too bad, but yeah. Oh, look at the map. All right. Yeah. Oh, you're telling me that I have bought a map and that the I'm do I'm playing the game correctly. <laughs> yes, yes, I bought a map. Yep. I made sure to get a map of each of them before I ran off. <laughs> uh It's all on the wrong server, but I'm slowly making progress. Yep. True that. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's funny. <laughs> uh, items. <sighs> okay, so... I think... Hazel, which hazels? Those don't aggro, if I remember right. Uh, but the exo rays will link, so I need to be careful. I'm pretty sure the witch hazels don't aggro. I should probably look this up. I don't want to end up with a bunch of little saplings on me. Monsters. Uh, which hazel? Which, 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 which? Which hazels? Uh, they link and H. So does that mean they aggro to hearing? No, they link by hearing. They don't have the A, which means they're not aggressive. Okay, so I just need to not AoE. Watch, uh, Simi is going to. <laughs> She's gonna AoE. You don't think they aggro, but they do link. Okay, yeah, yeah. Great.
trust in healer might die. If I trust AoEs, you don't get aggro unless you help it. Oh, okay. All right, so if I just hang out, I'll be all right. Okay, cool. Good to know, good to know. So just don't don't bother. <laughs> if they screw up, that's on them. Where were they? Where were those X-rays? Down in this room. Okay. I gotta be careful here. I don't want these things to... They, they link, right? X-rays. They link by hearing. Okay. Also, also look what else I got, Drake. <laughs> Hog. Jack grab. Mm hmm Got it. Stop! Stop going deeper! Stop! Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh, man. She's dumb as fuck. Maybe I just go with Matsui, that way he's not running around. Oh my god. You got to do an ambuscade last night? It was fun? Nice! Was it hard? That's why I have a tank if I have a uh, high damage dealer trust. Hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. I think I'm actually gonna just get rid of her. I'm gonna release her. And I'm just gonna use Matsui. Like, I'm not like a tank tank, so it's be too hard for me to hold threat against her. Well, who's hoping nothing's by it? Because I can't see. Okay, we good. What level am I now? I am capped. I am level 50. And I am one experience points away from leveling. It was quite easy, and uh, I know I can solo it now. Oh, that's good. And your thief? My thief is also 50. Not capped at 50, but level 50. We started out today by um, uh, leveling our, our sub job to max. Did I get it? Nope, not yet. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I don't know their pathing, so hopefully they don't get close enough to each other. Alright, we're good. Yeah, dude, it, it is. Yeah, everything everything goes pretty darn quick. And I think it's for the better. I really do. You blue tank? I bet. Oh, I wanted to make a macro for my building flourish. There's our X-ray mold. We got all three.
All right. That was that was pretty easy. All right, so we just need to make sure we get it in our inventory before we take off. A bite soup parcel, a tiny parcel that contains a few chunks of uh, biatetsu. Uh, biatetsu. Biatetsu. Okay, we're just gonna drop these things. I don't need bat fangs or a gigas necklace. Gigas necklace? Gigas necklace? Gigas. <laughs> or socks. <laughs> Did I get the item? Yeah, I got the item. Alright, so we got our papyrus, our bomb coral, and our x ray mold. Alright. Uh, I can drop the bomb chips. It's not worth the inventory slot. Okay. Get out of here. I don't need bat fangs either. Um, I don't want the revival root. I don't know what the hell that's for. Get out of here. I can just farm this stuff. Like, if this stuff is actually needed later on, like, I'll just farm more of them. I, I don't care about farming and stuff. Like, I'm playing Final Fantasy XI. If I don't care about... If I care about being slow, then I'm playing the wrong game. All right. Uh, so let's warp. Sweet! We got it! Bat fangs can drop too, unless you're trying to get reputation in Sandy. I'd, I'll worry about that some other time. But don't I get a lot of reputation when I do their missions and stuff? And then I have to do some other quests to get, like, max. Yeah, yeah? Okay. I'm a bastard token, so I'm a long way off from that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, dude. Um, so we're going to travel back up to Rulu Gardens. And uh, yeah, we're going to give these to Matt. And then what we're going to do right after that is we're going to go get one point of experience. We're going to level up, and then we're going to go do the level 55 one. I wish I had, like, an experience scroll or something. I could just be like, yeah. Or if I had, like, a... I guess if I had one of my uh, ROEs waiting to be turned in, I guess that would have been one way for me to do it. Frickin' bass tokens. <laughs> All right, let's trade them. Here's your mold. Here's your papyrus, and here's your bomb. You know what? I think he's just making a a, a cigarette. Honestly, he's going to wrap the mold inside of the papyrus and use the coal to light it, and he's just going to toke up. I figured why he... I, I just figured out why he wanted this. Highly recommend using Thief for the final limit break. Okay. All right. I'll keep that in mind. This is good, very good. Uh, today, you've taken your first step into a broader world. Why is that, Drake? What, you, you don't understand? Just get out there and fight, then you'll see. Your level limit is now 55. Nice. All right, let's go get one point of experience and, uh, and then come back. All you have to do is steal from Matt and poof, you win. Or fail if you don't get it. Oh. That seems easy. That seems super easy. Well, then again, like, you can go in with your trusts, can't you? Can't you call your trusts? If you fail to steal, you can try to kill him, but... Wait, can you? I'm pretty sure you can call your trusts. I'm, like... I'm like 90% sure you're able to call your trust in your limit breaks now. For it. I, I'm pretty sure. I, like, there's part of me that remembers doing that, but I don't know. I, I'm not like, it's been so long that I can't definitely remember. 
So many confirmations. That'd be so OP. I, yeah, I mean, like, it's not supposed to be hard anymore, right? Mm. I don't know, I guess we'll figure it out here. Probably in a couple days we'd, we'd figure it out. Why bother having the quests? It's it's a time sink, dude. You're playing an MMO. The whole game is just a time sink. If you're doing a quest, it's just so that you sink time into playing the game. That, that's why they have the quest. How we go? Did I kill that monster yet? Yeah, yeah, I, I killed it last night. It went pretty well. It, it it actually it like I said, just being level forty, like we were we were okay. I'm just gonna call whatever is in these trusts, and then we're gonna kill one thing and leave. I love the zone. I like it too. Like yeah, it's missing a lot of color and stuff. Obviously, that's the point. Um, but I thought it was really cool killing all the worms and stuff, and getting so much experience for it too. I like the like how quickly they come back and stuff. It, it was really neat. Alright, let's just go get one of them down. Well, I say one, but who knows how many it's going to link on to. Oh, this one's far enough away. Maybe that one that just went down won't come close. Nah, we good. We are good. He's like, screw this. I'm going way over here. Yeah. I actually like having her out killing the worms because, like, she gets hit with, like, a stone three, and it's like, whatever. I could just heal her up with one with one cure. That's... that's... Oh. And, and then it just stands there. It just, like, floats there, and then, like, you know, a minute later, it casts again. And if it's stone aga, I just interrupt it. It's nice. All right. So we did in defiant challenge our next one is uh atop the highest mountains and for this one ooh, we gotta go kill those nms the boreal tiger the boreal coral <laughs> the boreal coral and then the boreal hound up in zargabard yeah up in zargabard oh man it's been so long since i've been up there uh, I got a pro tip for you, but it's going to be a while before you can get that far. Uh, I mean, hit me with it. I might remember. All right. So we're going to have to actually, wow, we're going to have to go. We're going to have to travel to get all the way to Zargabard. That's fine with me. I don't remember the way up there. So we're going to have to, I think I start in Sandoria to get up to Zargabard. So. First things first is we're going to go talk to Matt, start the quest, and then we're going to head over to Backstock. Bass. I keep saying Backstock. Bastock. And we will uh, get a map for Zargabard. And also maybe a few other of the northern regions. Um, Ruru Rarden. Yeah. There we go. When you get to the final expansion, is that is that Secrets of Alduin? Uh Adulin? Or is that ROV? That, that is Secrets of Aladuna. Okay. When you get to the final expansion, just outside of the city, there are beaches called Ergonit, Ergonites, Ergonites. Crawling around, they are by far the best thing to skill up your weapons and magic on. They take forever to die and spend most of the time fighting in the shell. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. 
Uh, do I want to be like level 99 before I go up against them? Just to make sure like I'm okay? Or... But that's, that's good to know. Yeah, that's definitely good to know. Okay. Uh, how's it feel at the top, kiddo? Well, you ain't even... Ah, shit. I ruined it. Okay. Uh, do you think you got what it takes to take the next step? I don't think I'm forcing you or anything. Matt, of course you are. Maybe lower level, but don't remember. Okay. Good answer. I'm proud to have a people like you. Anyways, listen close to what I have to say. Many uh, caverns to the north are home to uh, fiends that can find you even when you're invisible. Bring me three samples of Frigsite? Fragosite? From deep within. This time, it's a test of wit. Barrier breakers needs brains after all. Well, get going. Only have healing and support trusts because your goal is to not kill them, just use the level one. Oh, right, right. True, true, true. True. Just use a very fast weapon of the lowest caliber. Right? And then just <laughs> AFK farm your skills up, right? Um, okay. Let's see here. So I'm going to I'm go off to Bastok and go towards the gold miner or the the goldsmiths pick up a map of Zargabard and then make our way up towards Sandoria where we will do we have to go through the tomb we have to go through uh the king's tomb don't we ah, it's coming back it's coming back to me there's probably like some secret shortcut way to get up there I've actually uh gone to sleep while beating one down and woke up six hours later and it was still smagging it <laughs> nice Nice, nice. AFK farm for the win. In six hours, were you skilled up all the way? I I would imagine you would be with six hours. That's that's a long time. Travel to another home point. Uh, past dock. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Markets, and then uh, we're going to four. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh. Chat, I need to go AFK for maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes. Um, but I will be back in just a, a short bit. Uh, I'll leave you with uh, Bastok's music uh, in the meantime. And I'll put up a BRB. All right. Here's Breakfast Ham in her glory. And get out of here, dude. Some bro over there. Okay, I will be back in just like two or three minutes. Uh, I'll see you guys soon.
Okay, I'm back. Okay. Um. So what were we doing? We were, we were gonna get some maps, right? Uh, the bane of my existence, I think. <laughs> I keep forgetting. All right, yeah, yeah. Let's grab the maps to Zargabard, and we were gonna head up, and we got three true sight mobs we gotta kill. Three of them, so that we can get more uh, levels and get our caps put up. So I need. Let's see, what do I need? Which maps do I need? Sorry, I'm fixing my sleeves here. Um, so we need Zargabard for, for you know, starters. I don't think we need the tomb. We're not going over there. All of them. Yeah. Eventually. Definitely eventually. Um, maybe we get Fei Yin. That might have Zargabard in it. Um... What's the Kuzats region? What is that? We'll just grab it because it's going to have more than one map in it. Hey, Mio, what up? Good morning to you. Good, good morning. Um, Kuzats is the desert region. Oh, okay. Well, it's it's good that I have that one anyways. You know? Uh, I think that's I think that's really all that I need was just... <laughs> You will need all of them anyways. Yeah, I don't I don't have a ton of money, so I don't want to like get all of them at once, but yes. Yes, I will definitely be getting all of them. So I need to go up to Zargavard, which means I need to go to Sandoria. I think I okay, so so without telling me, don't tell me. I think I need to go to Sandoria. Then I need to go uh through the tomb. And then once I go through there. It links me out towards, like, Fei Yin and Zargabard. Yeah, there was an update today. Yeah. Yeah. I had one. I had one that I had to download today. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was only, like, ten files. It took, like, two seconds. Uh, but yeah. It was a ten file thing. Yeah, 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 Mio. Do you guys know what it was about? I didn't, I didn't, I don't like look at like, hey, we're updating or fixing some bugs and stuff. Like, I don't look at that stuff. To address lag? Oh, really? Oh. Well, that's good to hear. Alright. So we're gonna go to... I'm gonna go to Northern Sandoria. No, I'm not. Port? Yes, I'm gonna go to port. I'm gonna go right here. Uh, I know the Tarus broke Saruta Baruta something last night. <laughs> I had to take down those zones. Are you serious? Like, you, like you're being for real? Like something happened out there? That's some Dynamis lag stuff? Okay. So is is Dynamis? Do you still have to be in like super insane thirty six people parties to do Dynamis? It did happen. That this happened for Dynamis D. You do. Oh wow. For but for the original Dynamis, you don't. Okay. All right. What's the D stand for? Wait, 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 I, I, ah, I screwed up. Yeah, I, I screwed up. Uh, I've never done D, only the originals, and even never finished them then. It stands for Divergence. Oh, okay. So you have, like, a bunch of level, like, you know, 119 people out there, and it's, and it's rough. Oh, congrats, dude. Congrats on your 75 Sam. Nice. Yes, 119. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Congrats. Oh, I wanted to go to East Ron 4. Ron 4. 
Okay, that's where I wanted. Yeah, I'm prepping for the next expan expansion campaign. Is that what's coming out in 2020? Is that the rumor? Experience campaign. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I see. I got gotcha. you. So, so do you just get like more experience during those things? Like you kill a mob, you just it's just free experience points. You don't have to do anything. It's nuts. Oh, cool. Okay. So, does the experience campaigns do those work for things like um, job points and stuff too? If you use a ring, you'd get like eight k or ten k. What? No job points. Uh, you get job points, regular X XP. Okay, cool. You get like 10k a kill? That's insane, dude. That's cool. That's awesome. Definitely take advantage to get some of the uh, classes up to 99. I would definitely do that. Can push it higher with XP chains. Oh wow, yeah yeah yeah. Is it still 10k to get one job point? Is that how it works? No. Oh, it's 30k. Oh okay. It's 30k for one job point. Oh okay okay okay. And you need 2100 to be mastered. So the stars, is that what the master means? When like someone has a star above their name, they've mastered the ninja class or they've mastered, yeah? Okay. Okay. The stars are mastered. So that's just kind of like, do you get anything special for that? Or is it kind of just like, hey, look at me. Like I spend a lot of time playing Final Fantasy XI. You're halfway to blue to get it. No, you just get. No, you get job traits and perks. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Okay. That's awesome. So, definitely something to go into looking to get mastery and stuff. Okay. So after you're like super mastered and stuff and like you're this amazing awesome character is st is there still things in the game that you have to like party up for like like you have to even when you're like super powerful and stuff there is that's crazy dude that's awesome cp campaigns okay and to enjoy the end game you're gonna want to get a master class okay all right How much is that? How much is 2100 times 30? Sixty-five million. Damn. You had to calculate it before. Yeah, it sounds like you did. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, look what we don't look look what we don't have a map for. <clears throat> I thought I bought a map for this area. Uh, I guess not. All right, chat, you got to help me. You got to guide me through this. I don't have a map. And I know there's a bunch of like corridors and branches and stuff for this. Map on the second monitor. True. I'm May 4. I watched the door for unspeakable terrors licking on the far side. I can open the door for you, but quickly, I must close it. Once inside, you must find another way out. Let's go. Yeah, I'll just pull up another map. Just trying to give you guys something to do. <laughs> Alright. 
Um. All right, here we are. So, I just hit the first. Did it open and close on me? God damn it! <laughs> okay, so I just hit the first one. So essentially, what I want to do is I want to go north and then east east. Okay. Does it do this guy? Does it do this with your guys' game too? Like how you can see like this specific like square here on the ground. Like the shadows are weird on the wall. Is that just me or does it do that for you guys too? It does that for you sometimes? Okay. But not since you installed the HD packs. Yeah, I would imagine so. I don't have a map, but like I can stop. Oh, a cave score. Oh, okay. Now we good. Round home. So we want to go north. They don't cover every zone, but enough to make a huge difference. Looks like a game from 2010 instead of 2004. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, no no problem, Mio. No no problem. No big. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? But bile sucker? That's that's fucking holy shit. Oh, okay. They're they're heavy. Okay, they're they're. Okay, I gotta be careful. Okay, so I will go east here. And then I will swing back north. You're gonna need spectral jig, definitely. Okay, so now I'm going back north. And then I'm gonna wanna head east again. No, if I follow the left wall, that's gonna take me over towards the waters of oblivion. Okay, so I got two paths here. I'm gonna want to take the this one over this way, the the south east path, because the other one leads back up and around, just the other way. Okay, and so this just goes right into the uh, glacier. Thank God these hovering oculuses don't have true sight we used to have to go through these so much back before the teleporters yeah dude yeah yep the uh there's that nm in here that drops that hat that gives you like super good accuracy isn't isn't that in here is that in here Make sure to go to the records of eminence. Set your daily task stuffs like uh, to get coffee vouchers. Yeah, the optical hat. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. That's not in here. Oh, okay. There is an NM here, though, isn't there? Yeah, like Drake said, I'm pretty sure there's an NM here that I uh, that I had hunted for. I know there's the bard artifact in here. Um. That's all that I remember. Okay. Do we have a map of this, though? Please tell me I have a map. Oh, my God. How did I miss this? Oh, okay. I didn't buy whatever region this is, but I have Fei Yin. Where's Zargabard? Is that over here? Oh, that's over here. Okay. Shoot. Okay, so let me pull up a glacier map.
Here we are. So I want to go towards... I want to go towards Fei Yen. Because then that will lead me towards... Zargabar. Yes. Okay. So. I'm going to get some guys summoned here. Um, I'm going to pull out a tank just in case. Yeah, Sylvie. Tenzin and Sime. All right, so make this big. What? No, the map. I'll make the map bigger. There we go. That was a big map. Hey, congrats on 67, dude. They just come so quickly. <laughs> okay. I think I see where I need to go. Can I get on my mount here? Oh, please tell me I can get on my mount here. Hells yeah. Okay, well, I'm good. <laughs> nice. So I don't want to go I don't want to go up. I want to go this way. I think. Okay, where am I exactly? Uh, I'm at H9. H9. Okay, so I'm near a ramp that goes down. No, I'm near a ramp that goes up. Okay, and I don't want to go up. I want to go down. So I want to go this way. This will lead me over towards another big flat area that goes down towards the ledge. Okay. Do those guys just run super fast? Oh, they do. Okay. That's cool that your trusts will run faster to keep up with you. That's awesome. And then I go down here. And then from here, I want to go south. 
Yes, I want to go. Yeah, I want to go south a little bit, and I'll see another ramp. Stone golem. I didn't pass it, did I? No. No, I didn't. Not yet. Still want to go south. It's right up there. Yeah, I see it. And then I want to go north. Because if I go south, I head towards Batalia Downs. Yeah. Yep, this way. No, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Yep. Whoops. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I wish I had a map. <clears throat> That's funny. <laughs> ah, dang it. I'm back on track. Oh. That was too funny. I was like, yeah, I'm almost there. No, no, I'm not. <laughs>
Oh, it's another big boy. Ranchers are having a hard time with that guy. He's just rampaging everywhere. So there should be an outpost just up here. Right? H8? H8, yeah. Oh, there it is. Alright, so we just go north here, and then we take the first ramp up and follow that towards the west, and we will get to Zargbard. Spooky ghost. Ha cha cha cha. Okay, so now that we're in Zargbar, we have a map, but what? I thought I bought a map! Guess not. 100% thought it bought a map. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Alright, so, the tigers are up there, tiger and coral, and then the boreal hound is way down at the bottom. So we'll start down at the bottom. Lunar Key Boarhead. Thanks for the follow. Let's see here. So we made it out of there. We're in the big open area now. I'm gonna go over this way. Is 
it here? I9? I9. No, we want G. Shadow Dragon. That looks awesome. It's around this little hill. I need to summon my guys pretty soon. Because if I remember right, travels almost the entire length of his Oh the music, I forgot about it. That's so good. Alright, so we we are gonna get back but leaving again. Gotta go get my phone from the repair shop. Alright dude. Yeah. I hope it's uh I hope it works well for you when you get back. Thanks, man. And good luck. Maybe I pull a real healer out instead of Sylvie. Congrats, Mio. I think I'm going to pull out a real healer. Eh, nah, I can heal. <laughs> eh, fine. fine. Oh, shit. Lost souls. Thanks, Drake. See how this goes. I'm going to use our re raise earring just in case. Please no. <laughs> Please do not cast freeze on my paladin. Holy shit. He cast it anyways. All right. Uh, they healed him. He's fine. Preventing HP and MP recovery. Okay. What the hell is this mob? Holy shit. Holy crap. Can I just grab it? Can I just grab it right now? <laughs> I got it. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I'm out. Don't rock gas me. Okay. He didn't rock gas me. 
And I'm no longer cursed. And with that, we're going to flee. <laughs> fucking bailing. I'm gone. Uh, I got my item out. <laughs> like I hit hard. Casting Blizzaga too and stuff. What? Come on. Am I paladin to mess with him and then I'm out? All right. Let's see if I'm still in combat. Can I get on my mount yet? Ha ha ha! Nice. Easy. I don't have a map. I can stop doing that. Where's the... It's over here, right? Did I pass it? Is this it right here? No, that's not it. All right, so the teleport itself is at nine H. Where's the Atomos? Eight, H8. Oh, yeah, it's like right here, isn't it? Where? Maybe it's a little further up here. Maybe I'm too far down. Oh, this one up here. Wait, I'm invisible and on my mount? That's a thing? Oh. Nice. That's funny. A demon knight. God. <laughs> That's close. How did he not see me? Oh man. I need to make a macro for my mount so I don't have to like fumble through it again. Oh, that was scary as fuck. I was like, oh god, he's gonna see me. <laughs> It's like pushing control J is like, why isn't it working? Oh, because it's going into my job abilities. I 
and jump off? Nah. Yep. So just the uh, coral. How do I? What? Where's the entrance? Right here? Right here. all accounts this looks like it yeah there's a little cat meow See me again? Am I just like right out of vision there? Line of sight? Yeah, I must be. Huh. Weird. Well, nice! I got all three of them. Now let's make our way back to Matt. All right, so that's uh, 50 cap and 55 cap done. That's great. That's good news. Yes, the very thing. You've crossed another great threshold today. Of course, this is merely a prologue to things to come. <laughs> nice. All right, so now we can get to level 60. Woohoo! All right, so I think we might be able to do some more um, might be able to do some more ROV. So we'll check into that. We're level 50. We might be... We should be all right. Uh, let's see here. Um, go back on this and this. That. This may be completed around level 55 and grants Raspity of Umber, which bonus experience, uh, limit break quests, alter egos are able to be called during the following quests. Okay. In addition, Courier Vendor has more. So we need to get to we need to get to 55. 
So I think we have to go kill some more stuff outside of, uh... Well, in Esha. So we're gonna go do that. We can also start doing our artifact armor. If we wanted to. Because we got 52, 54, 6, 8, and 60. I don't, I don't, I don't know that we're going to do those. To be honest with you. Alright. Off we go. It saves you a ton of time simply by buying the coffer keys, uh, for your AFs at the Curry Moo. Oh, that is that's huge. Okay. No geo run and run obtain artifact and relic and imperior in different ways via quests and commissions. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that because that's not us. Trust. Um so first off, we're gonna get Sylvie. Joaquin. Tenzin and Simi. Okay. So it actually wants us to already have <laughs> some Chains of Promathia stuff done and so on and so forth. These are things we can all come back to. Um. Eshazita, I love it here. It's it, this is pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, let's get to let's get to like let's level up a bit. So to be able to complete Rasper uh, ROV one eleven, it wants us to be fifty five. So. Let's do that. Wait. No, please. Okay, we killed it.
takes off. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Fragmentation. That's a cool one. You're fighting worms and flies. Nice. <laughs> Are the worms and flies? Is that a is that something that's further in than where than just the starting area?
Oh, shit. She AoE'd him, didn't she? Yeah, she did. They just keep coming. <laughs> out here doing it again? She is. 100%. Level up, 52, very nice. You guys kill it. There we go.
Hey, Dark. What's up, man? You're in the Gus and Nines, Mio. Sorry, I, I just... I had a lot of guys on me. I had to, like, not die. And she, she continues to pull extra things. Uh... Um, you're in the Gosling Mines? Oh, okay. And you think that the high-level worms are 75 to 80 flies? Alright, cool. And, uh, Dark, how are you, man? How are things? Is that done? That's done. Okay. These are all decent challenges. We need to find somewhere else to go. We're level 52. Let's see if we can find somewhere better. So, we could go to... Uh, oh, just a little further in here. We can do some uh, Donald's and some Coral. Coral. Those would work. Um, let's see exactly where those are. Do I have a map? I don't have a map, do I? Yeah, I don't have a map. I get the idea of where I am, though. Okay, so... Um... Ishizita... Axis is granted to be nine line is around level. Yeah. Uh you're destroying demos and weapons there or the salmon fifty ish? Yeah, to almost sixty five? Oh nice. Nice, 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 nice. So I just need to figure out where I need to go. Cause I don't know where I am. So I'm at E nine. So if I'm at E nine, which is E Nine. So I'm like right there. Okay. So worms in about it. Oh, I get it. Okay. So I just go up the path a little bit. Okay. Uh, where am I? This way. I just go up this way a little bit. Make sure you get a mollifier. How do I get one of those? I don't know what that is. Do I get that from this guy over here? From Affy? Okay. Oh, is it my favorite adventure? What can I do for you today? Um, nothing in particular or here explanations. Yeah, if you don't get that, an NM will occasionally spawn. Oh. Am I not far enough to get it? Am I not far enough to get it then? Here, various explanations. Uh, everything's got a price. Pay silt. A uh, pleasure. A bloomin' pleasure. Uh, what are Eshin portals? Silts, beads, skin fossils. What temporary items do you have? What's with the book? I have a, like a thousand silt. What is Esha silt? Esha silt is a fine powder found around here. These scholars and academics throughout Vanadil are just itching to get their claws on some. So it goes a little something like this. You find silt, I sell you and sell it to me for stuff. Then I go back to Juno and give it to the Druin uh, researchers for a tidy sum. Win, win, win. Not that I know what about why the stuff is so special. Uh, as long as they pay me for it, I don't care if they build a little silt castle out of it. 
Um, the portals. You'll also find some real weird shiny portals hanging around. Uh, I've been talking to taking them, call them the Eshen portals. Okay. A little bit of hand waving and sprinkling or two or silts. Before you know it, you'll find yourself somewhere else. Oh, they're portals. They're portal portals. Okay. Whether you find the uh, convenient or not depends on uh, your worldview. You're a bit queasy about the whole thing, but I promise you that's a fair chance you'll come out whole. Uh, so if I know about the blasted things work, uh, I'm from the Chinchido, not the Judo Institute of Magical Studies. And I don't think you could just hop wherever. You have to go between them. Okay, so I have to find the other portals first. Okay. Uh, Esha beads? Esha beads, huh? I can't say I'm familiar with the particulars. I don't know as the uh, luckier uh, your lot sometimes finds amongst monsters that fall in battle. But I do know a couple people who'd be interested in the stuff. Oh, and one comrade, Norg, for instance. It's pretty versed in the ways of the West, so pay him a visit if you find yourself heading over there. Uh, tribula... Trib... tribula -ness? Tribu... Tribulinus? I don't know. Ah! I knew you were a world, a uh, woman of discerning taste. Uh, tribes are pieces of special glass and a bunch of surprising magical properties. Pretty darn popular, and so my stock is always uh, breath and being totally wiped out. Tribes in uh, rated in is uh, how you get uh, to tier 1 to 4 mobs. Okay. You need those in order to pop NMs. Oh, okay, cool. So in effort to keep things moving and fair, subsequent purchase of those will cost increased amounts of Esha Silt. Whether you give them loved ones or presents and use them instead. Purpose is up to you. Find the price getting too steep? Try coming back later. I have happened some more in the meantime. Let me pass this savings on to you. I got a bit off track. These aren't just for decorating your house. Together with a Grimsley trinket, you can call for some powerful baddies roaming the land. Collect them all and head to a particular place in Esha and wham, fresh meat for killing. Okay. Uh, Grizzly trinkets. As I told you, we're talking about the Tribs, Grizzly Trinkets. I needed to summon some of the more ornery creatures, probably in Esha. Okay. I call it a day. Just keep on track of them all. Applying, of course, that the monsters require a different item. I wrote a couple of notes on each one, so. Okay. Boar Seals. Seeking knowledge on four Seals, huh? Waha! These little charms are something else. Uh, we imported them from the east, and they're more than just pretty pieces of paper. Put them on your backpack, uh, string them together around your neck. Heck, and send them into your boots for all I care, but just possess them and they will bestow a variety of special benefits. You won't find a better deal anywhere. Uh, but there's two little problems. They only work in Esha, and you they wear off after 60 minutes. But a uh, cloud and silver linen in the case and the seals themselves remain. Okay, don't ask me why, but leaving Esha and coming back recharges the seals' energy. Put up to some unnatural force if you want, but that's how things are. If you do want the particular seals anymore, just return them to me and I'll take them off your hands. If you change your mind and decide you want them back, it's gonna cost you. Uh, if you want charity, I suggest you head somewhere else. I might have more Vor Seals uh, for sale if you check back later, but be sure to come and pay me a visit periodically. What temporary items do you have? Some of the items are brought from the Chichudo. The nature and still part of with them. Gotta cover all your bases, you know. Stock tends to be uh, fluctuate from time, so it might be best interest to stop by every so often. And who knows? Maybe I'll get uh, accustomed to your old ugly mug of yours. Wahaha. <laughs> So can I not buy anything yet? Oh, now I can. I just had to have him explain everything to me. Hey, congrats on 79. Receive key item. Oh, a map. I'm going to get a map. 
Yoink. A map of uh, Reishinjima. I'm just gonna get both maps, all the maps, since I'm here. They're they're pretty cheap, so uh, get them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reishinjima. Receive key map, key items. Hey, Marble. Good morning, dude. Mollifier. Thing here. Uh, it's one of those rare large beasties away from you. Mollifiers are 500 silts. Do I have to ever buy this again, Mio? Or do I just buy it once and I'm good? The effect only lasts while you're here in Esha. So keep that in mind. Okay, well, that explains it for me. <laughs> What's a reaper do? I'm sorry, particular manner of stuff. The colors just got around. Esha, a reaper can run you 50 salts. Maybe not. Only once, and then you buy you when you zone out. You have to buy it again. Okay, cool. So I don't care. Do I care about any of these other ones right now for the purpose of just like leveling up? Gotta go back to class already? All right, Bible. Hey, dude, thanks for just stopping by real fast and saying, hey, it's good to see you. The Tribunes and Red Nulls are for much later. Okay, bye, dude. Are there any like power-ups I can get other than like these temporary items? Is there any, like, those 60-minute power-ups and stuff that he was talking about? How do I get those? Want to know which seals you have on you? Hmm, let's see. You have HP, MP, 0, C, 0, 0, 0. You have to beat the NMs to get those? Okay, dude. All right. In order to get the four seals. Okay, cool. All right. So now I won't get that NM to pop on me, so I'm good. I think I leveled up twice, so I'm going to get rid of those guys and I'll get them back here in a minute. Yeah, NMs can pop if you fight enemies in here. Okay. That's cool that that's how you get him to pop. You just kill more. <laughs> Wait, why is that guy very tough and the other ones weren't? Weird. Do they level up with you? Do the mobs level up? Like as you kill more, they get higher level and stuff? You gotta ding 80 and then rest? Nice. No? Oh, okay. This worm is just like very tough and the other ones were all decent challenges. You just go to a other part of a zone. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Grab a tank. I should get the other portals, though. So that's first portal. The second portal is up. Oh, I see the portals. Okay, so I just have to go over there and click on them, and then I'm good. So when you come in next time, you can just select a portal you want to go to and get on. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll go grab these portals. Do I have to worry about things aggroing me? Yeah, I do. Okay. Ashen crawlers are all DC. That guy's IT. Holy shit. And then the weapons. Ooh, weapons. Okay. I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and sneak. It's 
spectral jig. All right. Do the uh do the giraffes do these uh guys link or aggro? I don't think I'd want to fight a weapon. They do, okay. The damsels link. Okay. Donald's. And the weapons real aggro, okay. And they link. Ooh. And they cast haste on each other. <laughs> nice. I don't have a time limit in here like I do in uh, Abyss Sea, right? No? Okay, cool. Sweet. Alright, so I got that. So there's the cats over here, supposedly. These guys probably link and aggro. Let's just assume everything's going to aggro. Okay. Oh, she's just going to cast Paralyze now on him. Okay, I don't even need to worry about it then. Nice. Sweet. Get good XP for that. I wonder if that's going to pull him. Oh. Oh, nice. Just out of his range. Sweet. <laughs> That was pretty cool. What was that called? Uriel Blade? That looked really cool. Asian raised by 0.5. That's awesome.
Why is she so close to him all of a sudden? Normally she's way far away. Do a light skill chain? That's awesome. That's awful. I just gotta wait for that then.
Woohoo! 53. Nice. Congrats on 80. Yeah, flies turn to v VT now. Do they give like a ton less experience or is it like, okay? Just a little less. But you continue to chain. It's not bad. Yeah. Hey, 10,000 baby bills. What up? Later, Mio. You have yourself a good one. Thanks for hanging out. And another follow from another lunar bot. I don't know why. But thanks. <laughs> I feel like it's another lunar bot. There's been like four lunars today, so. Well, I don't know. Thanks for following, Lunar. Tin, how are you? How are things going? We uh, we managed to do two of our limit breaks, and so we can get up to level 60. And I wanted to continue on some ROV missions, but uh, I need to be 55 to be able to do it. So we're getting some levels here. Level 53 now. So we're, we're, we're getting them out of the way. Slowly but surely.
What was that? What did she just use? I don't know what she just used. That looked cool, though. My sneak attack thing's not working. Oh, I need to do it on me, not on a T. <laughs> okay, that yep, that would be it. Regain? What's regain effect? Let's see what that does. Oh, is it a passive TP increase? Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. It's gonna last for two minutes? That's awesome.
I am almost level 54. Probably probably after this guy right here. Yeah, after this guy right here, I'll be 54. Yeah, we're, we're pumping him out. I can make my way to level 60, and then I have to do the other, uh, have to do the next level cap quest. But, uh, once we get to 55, we're gonna do some more, um, ROV missions. Alright, Flourish is category 2. Yeah, I got a, I got the reversed one, and I got a building flourish. This one seems really cool. Makes my weapon skill pr pretty hard. Does that stack with uh? Does that stack with sneak attack? Well, there we go. There's 54. Oh, I resummon my guys. It does. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Um, trust. Hey, Troy, what's up, yo? How are you? Okay, we're also gonna... We're gonna get a... We're gonna use Koopee Pee This time. So I, wanna, I wanna do a little bit more damage, so I think we're gonna have a, an actual healer this time. It uses one to three finishing moves. Three grants a lot more power. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I'll make sure to have three finishing moves up when I use it. Oh, no, 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 no! Whew. I think we'll be good. I think we could get it. Oh, did I just release them all? I didn't, did I? Okay, no. All right, let me see. I missed. <laughs> Later when I uh, do job points at lane night. Oh, okay. Oh, nice, Troy. Nice, nice. Yeah, congrats, dude. I'm 42. That's awesome. You can further improve it to grant 20% more weapon skill damage? That's crazy. That's awesome. And you can then add more of it on top of, with merit points. That's cool. That's super tight. 
So you, so you're you're like a pretty good damage dealer, right? As a as a dancer. You like you're okay. Yeah, dancer is it's it's good. Okay, cool. Sweet. Uh, you want more attack power f from support. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to get two guys if I pull this. Single-handers lack the attack. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't I don't want I don't want to get two guys at once so I'm trying to see where this guy goes <laughs> this is pretty bad anybody behind me no one behind me I don't know. I can't get that guy. Because then the one I have with the gold arrow is going to link to him. Maybe if I go to the other side. down here they're all pointed away maybe I can get this guy nice light weapon skill or that light skill chain is so cool
about halfway through level. So maybe like four more guys after this and then we can do some more missions. Slam dunk. I uh, I like leveling. I like I like playing support. So white mage is a lot of fun for me. But yeah, having to like always like rest, get your mana back, and then go back into it. It's yeah. It's I can see where it's uh it could be a little tiring. And yeah, warrior is a lot of fun. You just you hit things. <laughs> you hit things and then they die. Did you just get crit twice in a row? No, Tenzin's scoring scoring a bunch of critical hits, never mind. For me? Oh no, it wasn't. Okay. Close though.
it's a lot of work for you. Yeah. Yeah, the only reason why I didn't go with a mage is because I didn't want to worry about buying spells. I was just like, I just want to not worry about any of that, so. So I started with Thief. I was like, ah, Dancer seems good. I'll go with Thief and Dancer. Alright, Troy. Uh, if I don't see you, if I'm uh, if I'm off by the time you get back, because I only, it's going to be a shorter stream today. If I'm off by the time you get back, I hope you have a good day. Uh, and thanks for stopping by and, and hanging out. It's great having you. Yeah, definitely. Definitely did. All right, man. I'll see you next time, dude.
All right, chat, that is going to be it for me. Um, I have some stuff I want to get done today here around my place. Um, thanks all for hanging out and um, being cool. Thanks for the follows, you guys. Um, and uh, and I hope, that, uh, I hope that I see you guys next time. I'm having fun, a lot of fun with Final Fantasy XI, uh, and I hope that we can keep... Keep building. All right, you guys. You all have yourselves a great night. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.